Yo, what's going on, Sleep Token fans? My name is Dawson, and welcome to the first ever Sleep Talking episode. This is going to be juicy. It's going to be fun. This is a series that we're going to be doing here on the channel where we talk to other huge Sleep Token fans in the community and pick their brain about different things. Today, I'm joined with my co-host, Justin, a.k.a. Goth Cycle from Fear Quest. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Let's get it. Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm here with Justin, aka Goth Cycle from Fear Quest. Real quick, Justin, before we dive too deep into everything here that we're going to talk about today, you want to talk about your channel and what you do over there at Fear Quest? Basically, right now, I just review toys, and it's in not near enough, man. I don't put near enough videos out. You know that, Dawson. You give me crap about it. But, um, <laughs> like, I want to start doing horror movie reviews. I was going to do one for Megan last night, so I went to watch Megan, which was fantastic. But, uh, haven't done that yet. I'm trying to figure out if I need to do more reels and shorts than videos, though, because it seems that's what people are liking now. I don't know. Yeah, I what don't you... know. Re reels and shorts seem to be a thing right now. I hate them. Um, like on yeah, Instagram. Watching, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It, it is. It really is. I think that uh, everyone's attention span has. So I was about uh, to say, it's the ADD, man. Everyone's has declined. Yeah. There's too yeah. much to look at. So. Yeah, so I think people would rather just sit there and like watch like a 15, 20 second clip and flip to the next thing and just keep going through there. Yep. So cool, cool, cool. So uh, those of you who are in the Sleep Token community, you may know Justin from all the different Sleep Token Facebook groups. Uh, but, sleep, uh, but basically, Justin is like a huge horror fan. As you can see behind him, he has a shitload of horror stuff. So uh, go check out his other channel. Like he said, he doesn't post a whole lot, Justin, and he should post more. We're going to work on it. He should post more, but uh, anyways, he's got some cool shit over there, so go check him out. And uh, he's always posting some creepy, weird-ass photos, too. So if you like that kind of shit, you'll nice. dig, yeah. Yeah, you'll dig his Instagram. And I'll put his links down below. Uh, but what we're here for today is talk sleep token. And so let's just like dive into the meat and potatoes of that, because that's what everyone's here to see. Um, so let's start with how you, Justin, found sleep token, how you were introduced to them, and what I guess led into this sleep token passion frenzy that, that we're all on. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, okay. The first guy introduced to sleep token. Was it 2018? I don't know. It was when I was when I was in the fighting game community shit. That I was doing playing fight games a lot, and a player I'm not gonna name his name that I can't freaking stand. Uh, on Killer Instinct, he posted a video and he's like, "I've never heard anything like this." And it was, uh, I think it was, it was Calcutta, I believe. Might have been Thread the Needle. It was one of the two, I don't remember. But I listened to it, and I was like, what the hell is this? It was Calcutta, because I remember the damn video and his mouth and shit. And, uh, and I listened to that, and I was like, uh, that was fucking sick. So I clicked on Sleep Token, and then Jaws was the second song I heard. And I remember I showed Samantha that shit, and then I went back. And I listened to their old EPs, and I just like listened to one and two for freaking on repeat for weeks, bro. Weeks, you know, I like sad boy shit, and it was sad boy shit, and it was a lot different than anything like music wise. The music was stale to me, like it was, I don't know. And so, so just to clarify real quick before you go any further, Sundowning wasn't out yet. No. Uh -uh. So this was all their old shit from one and two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, one and two. Jaws and Hey Y'all. That was the only thing that was out. Yeah, yeah. And um, like it was just, I don't know. It was it was like I was a, a fourteen year old girl who had her heart broke for the first time in middle school. Man, um, I, I loved them, and it was just fucking rad to me. And uh, not too long after, probably about six months or so went by, or somewhere around there, and they announced the way that you were. But the only way to hear it was to tune into the BBC radio. So damn. we turned into this damn radio station. And, uh, dude, it took like three hours of listening to shit before they played the way that you were. And you know that song, what's two minutes, 30 seconds, three minutes, short song. Mm -hmm. There was no breakdown. But it was like the most beautiful song ever. I'm pretty sure Samantha was crying. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And it was still a while before they announced sundowning and stuff, but yeah, I've been listening to them probably 
27, yeah, probably 2018, probably. Hell yeah. So uh, you tried introducing them to me once before uh, my obsession started. And uh, do you remember how that went? Yeah, it didn't go good at all. He, he was like, no, no, this is not, I don't, I don't like this. And I sent Dawson a bunch of stuff. I was like, okay, he don't like this one. He's going to like this one. But he didn't. And it I think it took gods to to, to get your attention. And no, then, no, 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 no. Gods is the first thing you sent me because yeah, but, you thought gods was going to, you thought that that was what was going to get me on Sleep Token because Dark you know I like that. You. Huh? Dark yes. Side you. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, yeah, so you, you introduced me to gods and I was like, and you were like, I think you in your mind, you're like, Dawson likes heavy shit. I'm going to send him this heavy shit. This is what's going to get, I, he'll like this. So you sent it to me and I did not like gods. It just, I didn't like it. I don't know what it was about it. I think Vessel's screams hadn't really reached where I, I think that they should have been at that point in time. So maybe uh -huh. it was weird for me. I don't know. Um, I don't know. What did you think about his screams on that song? Do you think his screams were good on that song? On gods? Yeah. No, uh, no, no, no. Okay, all I right, all right. I don't like the okay, song. I love Sleep Token. I really do. <laughs> I really do. And I don't skip any songs, but I do skip Gods. I just don't like Gods. Um, and I know maybe you get some hate in the comments for that, but I just don't like Gods. I, it's not for me. So anyway, so that was the first one you sent me, and I was like, nah, not for me. So then um, I had attempted to start, like, this, like, reaction video channel, and you started, you was like, dude, you've got to re-check out Sleep yeah. Token. And this channel that I was doing was like an experiment. It really wasn't even something that I was really going to try to stick out. But I was just experimenting with something. Uh, basically, I was seeing if reaction channels did better than original content channels. Um, because I had an, another channel that I had. And it was crazy because like the reaction channel was like growing way more faster than my original content channel. And I was like, wow, this is insane. So that was kind of the experiment I was doing. But you sent me songs to check out. And I was like, all right, I will recheck out Sleep Token. So I started listening to Sleep Token again then. And um, there was a couple songs I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Like, I'm starting to understand, like, why Justin likes this band. And then, yeah, it was, um, uh, what the hell was the song? Did Dark Signs. Yeah, Dark Signs. Dark Signs, you sent me that, and I was like, this is it. I love this song. I fucking love this song. And uh, I went down the rabbit hole from, from there on. I started just listening to Sundowning quite a bit. And then my wife, I don't remember if it was for a birthday or what, she bought me a record player and she surprised me with the Sundowning record. It was my first record that I owned and I just played the absolute shit out of it. And yeah, so it's the reason I have a record player. It's Same, the man. Same. It's the reason I have a, a two record players now and all kinds of damn heavy ass boxes of records that I fought against for years until these damn bam put out this cool box set. and Which I hate you for because I want that box set and it's literally impossible to find. Yeah. Like I, I told her, I when I told her that I was thinking about like getting that uh, that record, that vinyl, I told her, I was like, I really want this box set because I'd like to have, you know, everything that comes in it, but she, like you, you couldn't find it. So mm -hmm. she was just able to get me just the regular vinyl, but it's, it's a beautiful album. It really is. And Man, I played the shit out of that thing from then on. Yo, no, nah, it's just, it's bad. But I don't know. Did, did you like the second album? Yeah, I did. I did. Um, honestly, um, if we're being completely honest, and once again, someone may be like, are you kidding me? Uh, but when I get into the car, if I'm going to turn on Sleep Token, <laughs> it's maybe bad to say, but 90% of the time, if I'm just going to choose an album to turn on, I turned that album on over Sundowning 90% of the time. Yeah. Not saying that I like it more than Sundowning because I love them both in their own different ways. Uh, but I do tend to turn it on more often than I do Sundowning. I listened to Sundowning for the first time. Oh, who was I talking to? Claude or Eon, one of the one of the OGs from the groups. I told him I'd listen to, to Sundowning for the first time, though, in probably six seven months man and it's really good but i like this place will come your time it's a damn good album man yeah i think it i think it's good i think it sounds really good i think it's produced really well uh, i think it's just a i think it's a phenomenal album yeah there's some slower i mean w there's some slower songs or a lot more slower songs probably than there is on sundowning maybe but um i actually had a, a talk with my stepdad just the other day because he was like 
he said that he loved the new song the summoning but he didn't like chokehold and i was like i was like and he's told me songs that he likes and he's like i like alkaline i like the summoning he's like i like the offering i was like every song you're sending me that you like is like the heavier side of sleep token so mm -hmm. i'm like you don't like the soft stuff whereas me maybe it's because i used to be like into vocals a lot like i like both of them but i really love that soft shit like chokehold i love more than sun or than the summoning i don't know how you feel about the two but i think chokehold for me is is better than the summoning i love the summoning for what it is but chokehold to me is just like a fabulous song from front to end and it's like super cohesive and i, I just fucking love it and i think the reason why i love those slower songs is just because i love uh vessel's vocals and his range and the ability that he has to be able to like throw his voice um is it, just incredible and so i always lean towards sometimes more of the slower songs or even more of their like i kind of like the, even like the poppier stuff like um like dark signs or what is it descending like those songs are more kind of like, a great song yeah yeah so they're like they're kind of poppy though and uh, yeah. i really i literally dig that so i'm hoping we hear something kind of like that on the new album as well but, yeah I, like when they release the two new songs like Joe Cole was fucking awesome and the summoning the next day blew my fucking mind with that breakdown at the end and uh and but two days later I'm back to Joe Cole bro it's, it, it, I like it better it's a good it's a freaking beautiful song it's just super cohesive like you yeah. can just listen to it over and over again and summoning like the place and bro then, that yeah summoning you got to be like kind of like in the mood for that because it is it's all over the place which isn't a bad thing at all like i love it and the ending of that song like fucking threw me for a loop i was like what the fuck is happening right now and when it got all jazzy and stuff like which was sick though like i loved it at the end of summoning um but chokehold yeah that second verse oh that second verse is just super beautiful not not to get off the sleep token topic really but uh did you hear the new periphery I didn't. I seen. Well, I know that. The, did they drop like a whole album? No, just two songs. They got it okay. On March. Okay. Well, I saw a music video, but then I saw another song as well. So I didn't know if they had dropped like a whole album or what. What the hell is it called? Shit, tight. No, it's not tight. I don't remember what it's. I don't know. It starts with a T. But it's got a freaking uh, jazz breakdown at the end. Does it? Yeah, it's fucking bizarre. But it's like it's not like the funk shit the Sleep Token did. It's like lounge music, dude. Huh. It's bizarre. I'm like, what is this? I have to check it out. I'm gonna be quite honest, and I've talked. To, I think I talked about this on the channel already. But like Periphery, I've never really listened to. Uh, I've been listening to them here lately. I turned, I put them on my Spotify list because that concert's coming up, yeah, and they're gonna be at it. So I wanted to know some of the music, but I've never in the past like been like, yeah, let me listen to that band. No, so I've been listening to them here lately, and uh, I like, I like what I'm hearing. They're a little too. I don't say emo that like you know his vocals he's got good but he goes back and forth to that is that nasally emo shit he does so i don't like it <laughs> but sorry you know, it's probably get a lot of hate but you know hey this i mean that's what this is all about is just yeah. being honest so uh yeah so all right so we we talked about how we both got into sleep token how you got into it you introduced it to me um let's get into the first time i guess seeing sleep token and how that happened and how you felt uh we saw them on their first show here in the u.s and what year was it 2019 yeah it was right before the damn pandemic shit so it's 2019 i don't remember it was somewhere around october i believe november maybe but yeah we saw them in oklahoma we had to drive almost four hours to get there there's five of us that went and out of everyone there, us plus I think two other people knew Sleep Token more. Like it was bizarre. Yeah. But everyone, it was issues. Oh uh, shit! What's the band? The band I don't like, Dawson. That everyone loves. No hey, singer. Huh? No, they don't oh. have a singer. Uh, oh, you're talking about? Um, oh shit! I keep uh, saying periphery, but it's not periphery. It's P. Um, dude, what, if you wouldn't have asked me, I would have been able to tell you. Um, damn, why can't I think of their? It was the damn beautiful Oblivion tour with issues, bro. Polyphia, uh, Polyphia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Issues, Polyphia. You threw me for a loop when you said periphery. I was like, so I was like, wait, hold on, it's not yeah, periphery. So like, the P was like, 
I, I was like going to different bands without peas and but yeah. no yeah yeah well, that's them yeah. i mean they put on a killer show i'm not gonna dog on them but i just don't i like vocals and uh and little aaron was there which is bizarre because i don't know if anyone <laughs> knows who little aaron is but the dude put on a hell of a show and he was super nice like he came out and hung with people in the crowd and shit but like that's not some shit i would listen to like but he he, he did a, he put on a killer show but sleep token opened up for them their set got cut way short they did they were supposed to end the set with jaws the final moment of their show of their of their performance was the for the beginning of jaws and then just blank because some opening band i don't remember who they were they were local they went overtime so of course you know shit on the that's that's trash yeah but they played they couldn't, for they couldn't let them squeeze in one song damn it I'll like what the played hell five songs <laughs> and, uh, and they were gone and you drove how far uh almost four hours that sucks man but it, it was I mean, a good awesome, night. but it sucks. <laughs> I know. I've heard. I've heard stories of that night. It was I've a heard, good I've night, but I can't. You know, it was fun. Fun time, and they put on a killer show. Yeah, I heard stories. We won't get into it, but I heard stories. <laughs> so yeah, so that was your first time seeing them. Um, my first time was actually with you back in November, here uh, close to home in Little Rock, Arkansas, which was killer mm -hmm. fucking show, man. Yeah, and it was mind blowing that they were coming. We thought we was gonna have to drive like all the way to Dallas to go see yep. them. And then they all of a sudden like dropped like some random in between shows, and one of them just happened to be Little Rock, Arkansas. And I remember I seen that shit, and I was like, I'm texting Justin right now. Like I was like losing my shit, dude. I was <laughs> like, Yo, they're coming to here. And I called my wife, and I was like, You ain't gonna believe who's coming to fucking Little Rock. And she's like, Who? I was like, Sleep Token. And she's like, Oh Lord, you're freaking out, aren't you? And I was like, Yeah. I was like, I am losing my shit right now. What are the odds that band will come here? I mean, shit. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I didn't think it was. I never would have thought. But yeah, it was a killer fucking show. Um, it was a funny experience for me personally. Like pretty much half the night. Um. <laughs> you can tell people that shit. That's a good story, man. Okay, yeah. So so we went and saw saw them in Little Rock, and man, they only played like twenty five minutes there, um, or something like that. I don't remember how many songs. I think it was like maybe six or seven six, songs. Six, I believe. Yeah, six or seven somewhere in there. Um, so I really wanted more, so that that sucked because the last band, although like I don't listen to them, they had their set was so fucking long. I was like, man, y'all couldn't have cut a little bit and like let Sleep Token just get a few more in, dude. <laughs> like or let Sleep Token play an hour. Like, come on, man. But no, the other band played like almost two hours, and like so that, that sucked. But it is what it is. But yeah, so um. I'll throw some pictures up here and I'll throw some video footage as well as of that concert that you went to, um, if I haven't already, but, um, yeah, so I basically dressed up as one of the members from the band besides like a face mask. So I had like the jacket, I, the black jacket. I had my wife put the sleep token logo on the back. Uh, had black skinny jeans, black vans. I painted body black paint all over my arms and my neck. I, had black fingernail polish like i was like sleep tokened out um <laughs> and so you know at first no one really thought anything of it but like after sleep token got done with their set we were like hey we're gonna like step back from the stage uh we're gonna go get some drinks we're gonna hang out uh i think y'all went out and smoked a little or whatever outside on the little uh patio and uh so in that experience of just walking around fucking random people kept coming up to me being like yo great set man like y'all killed it and i'm like i'm not in the band and like it, you couldn't convince people that i wasn't in the band they were like no you're in the band and i'm like no i'm literally not i don't you know if you remember that you're seven feet tall as well i mean that that was the... yeah so i'm super tall so i guess like i'm like vessel height um so yeah everyone thought that i was from the band and they just kept coming up to me uh, I had one guy literally was like, can I take a photo with you? And I was like, bro, I'm not in the band. And he was like, he's like, he's like, uh-huh. Can I still take a photo with you? And I was like, sure, man. And so he took a photo with me because he, in his mind, I was a band member, uh, if not Vessel himself. Uh, so. Most people heads, man. That was fucking hilarious. Dude, it was so funny, man. And, uh, and finally, like after like the seventh or eighth person that came up to me, 
uh, you and a couple other people were like, dude, just like go with it because they're not going to believe you anyway. So just roll with it. So the rest of the night, I just kept being like, oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> and uh, man, this guy uh, out on the patio, he was like telling me he's a like, good set and everything. And I was like, thanks, man. He was like, um, he's like, is Arkansas treating you well? And I was like, yeah, man, Arkansas is treating me well. He was like, you ain't the drummer, are you? He's like, you don't look like the drummer. You're not the right size. And I was like, no, I'm not the drummer. He's like, well, what? He's like, what are you? What do you do? Are you the vocalist? I said, I can't tell you, man. And he was like, what's your name? I said, I can't tell you that either. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even thinking though. Where's the accent? <laughs> you know, but yeah, like I have <laughs> no no British accent whatsoever. But these people, but you know, a lot of those people probably don't even know that. You know, because like, how many, I mean, there was a ton of Sleep Token fans there, more than I was expecting to see. There was a lot of Sleep Token shirts floating around in the crowd. Like, I was pretty impressed by how many people were there for Sleep Token because I did not expect that. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was wild. It was weird. Well, see, it was funny. I got a video. If I can find it, I'll send it to you. I don't know if I can find it. I might be able to download it off my Facebook or something, but I've got it saved private. A lot of those old videos from the first show, but. When Sleep Token first came out, like I said, no one knew who the hell they were. And I was right there on the front. I did let these two little short girls right in front of me because it was all crammed up there. But uh, I was right there, and they're on the video that I was shooting a vessel when he first comes out. And they're looking at each I could tell they're looking at each other, talking like, what the fuck is this bullshit? As this yeah. big, cloaked, grim reaper motherfucker just walked out. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, the night does not belong to God, yeah, so that weird you know key tone that starts in um and they're looking but dude when he starts singing they do the slow head turn at each other like oh shit and it, i got that and i was just like a cool moment that i caught because they were yeah. like okay then <laughs> like all right let's let's hear what you got man yeah yeah dude it's awesome um man i don't know i was pissing that dude off at the concert that was next to us because like i I was literally like scream singing every oh, lyric was a the whole time, dude. He was, he was not having it. You could tell like his girlfriend just dragged his ass to this concert and he didn't uh -huh. want to fucking be there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I apologize to him. I was like, man, I'm sorry. As soon as this band's over, dude, I'll be out of your hair. But for the next like 15 more minutes, 20 minutes, you just got to deal with me. <laughs> and <laughs> he was just like, okay. <laughs> like I was just like, yeah, you're dick. But anyways, yeah. Hey, it's dude. totally turned Jesse and Jerrica, dude. Dude, they jam and sleep token across the way all the time, man. It's like Hell yeah, dude. Jesse's turned into a fan too. He's yeah, gonna, man. He's gonna hear me talk shit. Jesse, you're obsessed. So it's it's crazy, man. Like really, like I think I told you the story. So there is so those of you who don't know, I also run another channel um called The Fantastic Reds and Where to Find Them. It's strictly Harry Potter, it's all Harry Potter. And uh over on that channel, you know, I've made some pretty pretty good friends that are i guess you could say um big bigger weight really big um so one of them her name is bippity boppity broke on instagram she was on hogwarts terminate of uh terminate tournament of houses on uh cartoon network last year um and that was where the four houses did like the competition it was during the holidays and her team won that and so like she's huge on instagram anyways i had posted a picture that you'd sent me it was a voldemort and a, a vessel side by side and it was kind of like making fun of them both being british and both not having noses and everything <laughs> and so i posted that on my fantastic reddance page and she messaged me and like i would have never in a million years thought that she listened to sleep token but she messaged me and was like yo sleep token's been on repeat every day hell yeah and so i messaged her back and i said you know who sleep token is and she was like yes and she said and none of my friends know who they are and none of them will listen to them and i annoy them every single day because that's all i talk about she's like so i'm so glad that you listen to sleep token she was like because now i have someone to talk sleep token with and so she like messaged me like for like 45 minutes about sleep token just back and forth like sending me voice messages talking about sleep token mm -hmm. and how she's been listening to chokehold and the summoning on repeat like over and over again so it's really cool because people that you wouldn't even expect to listen to sleep token like listen to sleep token like i was like blown blown away i like you brought up friends there man 
that's something this band's done. Like, oh shit! I, I'm, don't quote me on this. I'm just gonna tell you how I remember it. There was only one interview ever done that that, that Sleep Token gave. It was real like, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Uh, vague. It was very vague. But uh, they, I don't know if they still do, but under the, what they would say Sleep Token was, they would say it said they were a sprawling global cult that worships the deity sleep. Well, uh, the gimmick or whatever you want to call it, the lore, whatever you want to believe, it worked. Because I got friends all over this freaking world now because of this stupid band, man. And like, yeah. it, it's bizarre. And yeah, bands make fan bases. But this is different. Like, it's different, man. It is. And I think that's what attracts me to Sleep Token, too, is because it's kind of, it reminds me kind of like Harry Potter a little bit. Because, like, Harry Potter, I've made friends all over the world with Harry Potter. Like, I literally travel to other places in the United States and meet up with people that I've never met in my life. And I've made friendships, you know, like mm -hmm. through that. And so, Sleep Token kind of reminds me of that, too, because, like, it's like something that, is like you can build friendships off of like from all over the world and like everyone can relate to it kind of like people can relate to harry potter in a way so like i think that's another thing that kind of draws me into sleep token i think that's really cool that you can sure. have friends all over because of just this one little band and uh yeah <laughs> whether you consider it a gimmick or what i think it's i think it's a, a, a performance i think it's a, a backstory to sell the music um i don't really believe that they worship a deity of sleep because there really isn't a deity of sleep actually if you look into it there is a god of sleep there's no deity of sleep and the god of sleep his name is hypnos or hypnosis um but there's not actually a deity of sleep so they kind of so that is made up actually i don't know if you know that it's on that game i play man what the hell is that game called i love that game Oh shit! Everyone's been saying it's it, like they've been comparing so much video game shit with Sleep Token lately, and, the, and these characters that they've built up and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're talking about um, you talking about the uh, because of the new the new images from the new album. Yeah, but just maybe think of the game I was playing. I can't like think Dark what Souls. And, it, it's a Souls uh, type game, but it's a it's a top down, and oh. you're um. Thing, say you're zeus's son or whatever and you just keep dying and repeating but all them gods are there and uh hypnosis there it's just really cool but yeah so, i always think sleep talking every time i walk by and talk to him <laughs> really <laughs> so actually i kind of want to get into that really quick um so have you seen the three hour long video where the dude is like pitching sleep talking to his friends have you seen that video no you were telling me about it though but i'm not seeing it <laughs> okay it's like three hours long, and it's pretty fucking funny, but it's a dude, and he literally comes in, and he's got a whiteboard, and he is pitching Sleep Token <laughs> to his friends in this room. There's like four of them, and he spends three hours pitching Sleep Token to them. He yeah, goes man. like from the beginning all the way to their last song that they had released before the new stuff, and he goes into each song, breaking down like what the song's about. Like, I mean... He it's it's pretty hilarious. It really is. And I don't know how much it's meant to be taken serious, but he kept talking like and I and someone commented on one of my videos here lately um, about this as well. He it made the same comment is that Vessel isn't talking about a woman in his songs. He's actually talking about sleep. Where do you land in that theory? Do you think that you think it's about sleep itself? Or do you think it is, or the deity of sleep that he's speaking to? And I'll, I'll, I'll give you a line here in a second that, that this person uh, said. But Or do you think it's about, like, personally, do you think it's about a, a woman or love? I think it's about a lot of things. Uh, no. Or do you think, think it can be to interpreted different ways? Oh, yeah, of course it can. I mean, all music can be interpreted however the hell you want to listen to it. But, no, I think it's a lot of past regret, um, you know think from the lyric a lot of lyrics he puts it on himself yeah uh, um but no i don't i don't think it's about but what, what, about... Line, what line are you gonna drop me you know, like so yeah let me see if i can pull it up but basically in the new song where he says i'll turn my walls to gold to bring you home again 
Mm. Um, basically, what this person implied was is that what he meant by that is is that because his relationship with sleep is fractured and broken, which is basically what the offer or not the offering, but uh, sundowning was all about, was that broken relationship with sleep and uh, or whatever is basically he's saying like I'm gonna fill my walls with gold records to bring you home again, <laughs> and that was the theory. Huh. That, that 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 that's what that line meant is like I'm gonna have so many gold records in this house. I'm gonna get I'm gonna be so big and I'm gonna prove myself that like it's gonna bring you back home. Interesting. I'm now, feeling- now, 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 now that could now that could be about he could be talking to a, a, a just a woman right there too like. But that theory could also, I mean, that line could still mean that. Like, I'm going to fill my, my walls with gold records. Like, that's a that's a cool thought. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, this will be the year they start filling their walls with gold records, though, I'm telling you. Yeah. This is, this, is, this is their year. I think this is the year that Sleep Token takes off. Yeah. You know, I think I think COVID hurt them there for a little bit. Yeah. Because they weren't able to tour. They weren't able to do things. I think that really put a, put a damper in, in them. Um, and so I think that now that all that's done and they can start touring and I think this last tour they did in the U S kind of helped put them on the map a little bit, started putting them in people's ears that maybe people didn't know who they were yet. And now that these two new songs got released and there's a lot of hype around it, I think it's starting to put them on the map. And, um, yeah, I think that we're going to see a big growth and spike in sleep token now yeah. going forward. Like this is so, which I, first- I, which I, I hate and love at the same that's time. What I was about to say, dude. For my own selfish reasons, I want them to come back here one more time before they do get huge. Because I think when they come back, which is something I'm really interested in seeing, is how they're going to do on this next tour, the, the big tour they've got coming up. Because it's a big tour. They're going to have big-ass stadiums they're going to be in. I want to see how they can pull off a big show. Because they're coming up close and personal band, man. Like, yeah, I know. Like, it's Picture intimate. yourself in, in you know the nosebleeds of a Slipknot arena. And watching yeah. them down there, they're gonna. I don't want to. Wanna, I don't want to do that. No, it'd be. Yeah, awful. it's a very, it's a very <laughs> intimate concert. Like, and that's what I love about being like right there against the stage like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so for my own like reasons, like I don't want. So it's like it's like I don't want you to get big. I want you yeah, to stay. A, stay a cult <laughs> band for me. <laughs> damn it. For me, stay a cult <laughs> band that no one hardly knows about, yeah. so that I can be the only one to love you. <laughs> like you know. Um, but nah, I'm, I'm happy for the boys. Like they're, they're doing it, they're doing it, man. And I'm happy for them. So, um, I just hope that it doesn't get so outrageous. Like, yeah, like you said, like I wanted them to come back one more time, kind of on a smaller show because we talked about like hitting up like three different shows in a row, like following them (laughs) and go to like three different shows. That may be harder if it's on a show that costs a retarded amount of money to go see. Yeah. To get like down by the stage or whatever, so I don't know. We'll see. I have a feeling though they're not. I don't see them coming back to Arkansas on this next tour. They might. But it'd be nice. I want to come back to the hall. Just come to the hall one more time, people. If you listen to this, come on. But no, dude. I'm telling you, in a year or two, Vessel's mask is gonna be the new Guy Fox mask. It's just gonna be <laughs> Vessel, you know. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm. I'm stoked. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, so, the new album. When do you think it's dropping? I know your theory. I'm saying February. February? Yeah. You think next month we're getting the whole album? It, it, you know, I even know I'm probably wrong, but I'm calling February. I don't know All why. Right. What's your what's your what's your theories or what 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 do you what what makes you lean towards that? You got to have like some type of theory or. I mean, if they wanted to do it, they if they're going to trickle it out, they need to do it like they did Sundowning. And then they have a merch drop for every freaking single. Because they did that with Sundowning. And evidently, I haven't seen anything else besides these four songs that we that everyone's seen. It's nothing secret. And they all have a character built around them. Are they going to do that with all 12 songs? Because that will be sick. And that would make some great merch if they're going to do it that way. But I don't We've got know. got no merch. Huh? We've got no merch yet. No merch. But I've seen some of the photos from the UK shows, and they got shirts with the summoning character, the choke, the chokehold, um, 
the Aqua Regia or whatever. Is, is that how you say that? They already have merch with that on there? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Favorite one I've seen, the Aqua Regia or Regia or whatever it is. Uh, dude, I want that shit bad. Like, I want that hoodie. It's a, It was on a hoodie is what I saw. Damn, I didn't know that they had that on the merch already. I've avoided yep. talking. I knew that, so like I know that a lot of people know about those two images, um, but I didn't know how many people knew about it. So I've kind of like steered clear of like talking about it on the channel. But Maybe if it stayed shut up, you can erase that out if you want. <laughs> no, like if it's already on fucking merch that they're selling, I mean then yeah. that's not that's not it. that then that's not secret anymore. That's that's public information at that point. So uh, that'll make a good video to talk about later. But uh, so if you don't know what we're talking about, stay tuned. I'll make a video on it and we'll go over that. But uh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't know they had merch. Was from the States, was, I was asking someone if they would get on my shirt and pay them extra money for, you know, the trouble and shipping and stuff. So, yeah. Hell yeah. So, yeah. So I don't know, man. I don't. So you're you're leaning towards February is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, because they're going on a big tour. Are you thinking you thinking before the tour starts? But another thing that stops me a little bit, and the tour starts next week, don't it? Does it? I think their big tour starts next week. It may. I don't know. I'd have you to pull that up. up. I'd have to pull that up and look to make sure. Um, yeah, let me let me look that up real quick if I can. Well, there's one thing also that makes me kind of think not February because they're going to want to announce like unless you know do, do we have any so yeah that? so uh you're talking about the one that's coming up with north lane uh this yeah. one right yeah so this one starts tuesday january 17th and sleep token's headlining that one right in birmingham and that is sleep token headlining with special guest north lane uh, that'd be a sick show that'd yeah sick. that is uh that's only five shows um uh, Okay. So the 17th, 18th, 19th, 21st, and 22nd. Then are they going to Australia? I don't know. Yeah, I think they're going to Australia. I don't know. Maybe. After that. Um, I know that uh, they got the take. Is it the takedown? Has that already happened? Has the takedown festival already happened? I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. I think that's coming up too. So, But yeah. Uh, so you're saying February. Yeah, but the only, the only shit that really don't make sense if it came out in February, is there rumored dates on the new songs? Are we, are we talking about that? Uh, I mean, we can talk about it if you think it's publicly, it's like public information. No, anyway, well, when if they you drop, don't think, then I wouldn't well, talk about it. When they drop those other two songs that, that, that they leaked out or whatever, um, or people leaked out, uh, I think the band, oh, I mean, the record, record labels leaked it all out shit, already, shit. But whenever those new songs come out, they're either if it is coming in February, they're gonna have to make an announcement soon, and pre-orders for like the vinyls and whatnot because you don't want to drop it on Spotify and not have your vinyls and all that shit ready to go day one. So yeah, so that's why I'm thinking. That's why I'm thinking like June, um, probably like June, July. It, it's it's getting too close. Like they should have announced something on the first two if they're gonna drop it next month. So it's probably gonna be in like June or July. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking either. I, I don't know. Like I had my theory that I was leaning towards, but then uh, the more I've thought about it, this moon theory is starting to look pretty damn. I like uh, the moon theory. I like it. It's cool. It's looking pretty damn accurate, and we won't know until the next two songs drop. But if they drop on the next, the next moon, the next full moon, then that's pretty damn telling that that's what we're getting. When and is that's next? how they're gonna do it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I just filmed a video about that. Uh, it's February. Uh, it's February fifth and sixth, I think, or something. Or no, I don't remember. Full moon calendar. February something. It's at the beginning of February. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Somewhere. Uh, okay. Oh, when you pull a side up and it takes you. Oh, yeah. It's February sixth. So that's a Monday. So. So that means we would get two new songs um, Monday and Tuesday of the first week, basically the first week of February. Interesting. Well, second week, technically, I guess, because February starts on a Wednesday. But anyways, so if we got two new songs, 
then then uh I, I would say damn like moon theory is probably looking pretty fucking accurate right now mm -hmm. yeah so but, but i'm not gonna say it but i read two other dates too that would be coming up real quick so i don't know yeah we'll see if, yeah if it drops on those two dates you're talking about then uh then who fucking knows what's going on at that point then but we were fooled once already and this isn't yeah. spoiler but we thought that those two songs were going to drop the that uh that the week that choke hold and summoning drop we thought it was gonna we thought the next yeah, it was supposed to go friday and saturday night wasn't it yeah we were all fucking ready that friday yeah friday. yeah every, we was all ready we was like here we go six o'clock and nothing happened i was like yeah we got trouble <laughs> <laughs> facebook posts and i was like patiently waiting to worship yeah i know uh, and i was like damn you i'm at work and you were like take a break at six so here I am at six o'clock, like in the break room, like looking around, and like nothing happens. And I was Dude, like, I, I know all my personal friends and stuff, and people I work with, they because I got everyone on Facebook, they, they hate me so much because all my shit is they just get worship, 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 worship. Let's just do it, man. It's fun. And, uh, it's funny, dude. Like you know, it's funny. It's like people think that people think that it means like like that they're like a devil worshiping or something i read an article today dawson about um shit before my history was me two seconds this was fucking funny so while uh, you're pulling that up i'll tell this story real quick my right. sister didn't like sleep token at first either and then she listened to alkaline and some other stuff and so she started liking it so i gave her uh this place will become your tomb when i bought the i bought the big package which i got screwed on but um, I bought the big package, and it came with a CD version. And I kept the vinyl, but I gave her the CD. And uh, anyways, so the other day, I was like, you still listening to Sleep Token? And she's like, I don't know. She was like, I'm starting to think maybe they, like, they're, like, worshiping the devil or they're satanic or something. And I was like, girl, what are you talking about? <laughs> no. Uh, my niece and nephew didn't like them. Like my my sister, my niece and nephew, you know, of course they're gonna dog every shit thing about me because I'm big brother, I'm uncle, and they're cool kid teenagers. And well, my niece kind of likes them now, and my my nephew's like, "What have you done to her?" The other day, it cracked me up. But yeah, yeah, here's the here's the article I seen. I know he put this in the. I may still put this in the Facebook group in the Bessel posting them because exploring the debate is sleep token satanic or not, and, and I don't know. D V A I T A. I don't know how to say that. How do you say that, Dawson? Can you see that? Oh shit. Dvasia? Dvasia? Yeah, fuck. I don't know, uh, man. We're just Denmark hands. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. But yeah, I'll, I'll, it, it just cracks me up because right? I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, people think they're satanic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I guess because of the whole like they call their concerts rituals and because they say hashtag worship all the time on everything. So, I, I mean, I guess like if you're on the outside looking in and have absolutely no clue what sleep token is, you could per maybe perceive it that way. It's the, it's the, it's the seizuring shaman dancing. That's doing yeah. It, it could be all that yeah. shit, you know, which <laughs> I don't, I'd like to know, like if, if he ever got to where he was like showing his face or doing like interviews or anything or just interviews in general, I'd like to find out where that dance came from. Like, <laughs> yeah, I also see a lot of Jim Morrison in that dance. Like, I don't know. I, I like the doors a lot. You ever watch old doors videos? No. Watch, watch John, John, watch Jim Morrison. Uh, Does he do Jim that Morrison shit? Freaking dance, dude. He gets all weird and shit. He does that shit. Yeah. Dude, I mean, I love it, dude. It's cool. It's like, it's like I don't know. It's 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 fun, but uh, yeah, I was just hey, curious. The bass player, he's got the moves too, though, man. He does. He does. Um, he's he's a funny dude. He's a like, funny dude. Like homie doing the running, man. They're in a hard breakdown. It's just like, what is going on over here? Yeah, he's <laughs> he's he's hilarious. Um, but yeah, man. Um, dude, I, I don't know. I'm pumped to see where Sleep Token goes from here. Like, and I have something being worked on pretty special that I'm excited about. That I'm really gonna tell us about. I don't want to talk about it yet, but that'll be coming on the channel hopefully sooner than later. But I'm, I'm pumped about that. Um, but yeah, dude, I don't know. Do you think that Sleep Token's ever going to get to the point where they'll start doing interviews and stuff? No. 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 That's something cool I was thinking about the other day. No one's heard Vessel speak. I mean, you hear him sing, of course, but there's been no spoken word like 
Uh, technically, there is one thing. What? I can't. Well, I can't really say. I can tell you afterwards, but there is one thing where he does say this next song is called blah blah blah, and you've probably did? you've probably seen it. When yeah, fuck, but no, it, it this was before Sleep Token days. Oh yeah, I saw that. I'm talking about Sleep Token. People, a lot of people don't know those days still. I I I know. So like that's why I'm saying I'm not talking about it. But you've yeah, had, you've heard oh. him. You've heard you've heard him speak. Um, okay, yeah, but I'm saying no one's heard Vessel speak. Yeah, no one's heard Vessel speak. Yeah, he yeah. walks on stage. He does his shit, and then he throws his hands up. And you're you what you call it the other day, dude? That's the, the 303, the, dude. 303. Well, yeah. Y'all remember the van 303? They used to do this shit. And this was literally, look up 303, no lie. This is literally on their album cover. And Vessel was doing this. And then I saw someone in the crowd was like, was like clapping. And then they went like this, like, like, love you, love you. And then they did 303. And then it's like, love you, love you, or whatever. And <laughs> I was just like, I was laughing because like I hadn't ever seen that since the band 303. And I was just like, it was just funny to me. I was like, damn, Vessel's a 303 fan. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, he, don't, he don't talk. He comes up, does his shit, and leaves. Bye. Yeah, that's what makes the set, like, super fucking short, too. Is like, their set would probably be a little bit longer if he did have those, like, moments in between songs where he would, like, talk a little bit. But it's just, like, walk on, end song, next song, next song, next song, walk off. Like, that's just... I, I don't... Like... I don't know if it's him, like, personally. Like, I don't know if he personally just, uh, I, I think maybe he's just a shy boy, almost. Like, he just don't like, he likes the music part of it, but he don't like the, the fame part of it, maybe. Or, like, the, the, the part, maybe, like, what's that word? Like, introvert, kind of? Like, where, like, he just don't really want to, like, you know. Like, or if it's part of the gimmick. I, I don't know what... what where it falls but i've seen him cool. react a little like you know he'll he'll reach to people and stuff like that but i've seen him react twice i think like actual react to to the crowd um and i think that was one show on their u.s tour recently the offering popped huge probably the biggest one of the biggest pops i've seen that song get and that was the end of the set and he threw a heart on his chest like he don't normally no he just sticks his hands out you know he's like Ooh. but and then the if you've ever watched that live performance in the church what's mm -hmm. it uh you know what i'm talking about yeah the one where he does the well is it the one where the voice talks in between songs no 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 that's the room below uh oh no no, no. okay yeah, yeah i know what you're talking about. Chris, hey. i got the thing over here hanging up but i can't read it from here yeah i know what you're talking about yeah and and someone recorded the whole show and someone posted some uh clips the other day from it but it's the only Tommy uh, that to my knowledge that he's ever done the way that you were live because that's how they end the set but his audio goes out and Jaws his mic goes out and he don't know it he's just up there and, oh, and dude singing so loud you can still hear him but you can tell there's no mic and then the crowd kicks in and they sing Jaws for him like he finds out I think around the third verse because he takes the keyboardists that's when they have the female keyboard player mm -hmm. takes her mic but uh everyone's singing jaws and he, and he takes his hands and he's telling everyone to yeah come on because he didn't know what the hell was going on but th that's the only time i've ever seen him like interact yeah oh he did give us a thumbs up that one yeah he did yeah it was so i don't know if you call that interact but he was like <laughs> <laughs> our little corner there too though there wasn't that many people there i mean Dude, we had we had like this little we had this little corner right there in front of the stage, and like we were all just fucking losing our minds. So like you know that they were like, look at these look at these guys. <laughs> um, that was cool though. We got to meet like what Lacey, uh, mm -hmm. Christy. Well, I can't remember dude's name. That cutting teeth concept dude. Yeah, we got but to meet other fans. Yeah, we got to meet some other cool sleep token fans there from. Um, they were from like what L Lacey's from Texarkana. Um, I don't remember where all they're all from, but uh, yeah, that was cool. It was fun. Which so then, and we started the Arkansas congregation on Facebook. Which uh, we there's been a lot of people join that, not a ton, but it's it's growing a little bit at a time. So that's getting a little bit bigger, which is cool. And then we just started our sleep talking Facebook group too, and that's that's growing fast actually. 
Um, yeah, with people in earlier. Dude, I think there's like almost 40 something people in there, which we just made that like well, yesterday. So, yeah. So that's Sweet. pretty cool. Yeah, we got yeah. some other uh, fans on here, though. I want to get like a Claude or Eon or Lacey, Courtney on here or something. Top. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's that's the plan going forward. So this is episode one. I wanted to start it with just me and you, since you're since it's me and you like running this. Um, but then you know, in the next episodes, I want to like start getting other like big fans brought on and start picking their brain and having discussions like this with them as well. And that's kind of what I want to want to do every once in a while is have one of these sleep talking episodes and do that do it like that because I think it's really cool. I just realized I've been staring at you this whole time. So in the video, I'm probably gonna be like looking somewhere off the whole time when it's when you upload this shit. I'm oh, I'm gonna probably be looking away too because <laughs> I'm looking at you and my camera's like above me, and I also have another camera over to the side that I'm using because I don't know which camera I'm gonna go with. But uh, yeah, so I'm not looking either. So it's all right. It's all about the audio, anyways. This is supposed to be more like a podcasty type of style video, anyways, so that. Whoever's listening to it, they can watch the video if they want, but then they could also just throw it on and listen to it while they're driving or whatever. But you don't see too many just beautiful, handsome men talking about sleep talking. You don't. You don't. You don't. So I'm ahead. I mean, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm I'm pretty stoked. Hopefully, this channel does pretty well. Um, go, you know, like I, it seems like it's going to, and I think people are pretty excited about having a dedicated sleep token channel to come and like listen to shit like this and news and stuff so mm -hmm. so it'll be cool and i'm excited about it but anything else you want to talk about sleep token wise before we end episode one of sleep token anything we haven't covered or talked about not really right now i want parabellum to uh, put some more jewelry out <laughs> um yeah i'm digging this necklace like it's beautiful someone asked me the other day uh they commented and was like where'd you get that and i told them and they're like damn it i missed it I'm like, yeah, you gotta like, you gotta pay attention because like when stuff like this comes out, it's like, it's there and gone quickly. Mm -hmm. I think there's only, I think I counted, and I think there's only when he posted, I think I did like the math, and I think there was only like less than 300 of these made. Yeah. So. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, they do some. He dude, he does some cool. I was uh, I was in his live stream yesterday morning. And he was in there and he asked, he was asking, he was like, Hey, have you listened to the new sleep token? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, that shit goes hard. And then, uh, he was sitting there and he was singing chokehold. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, vessel, is that you? <laughs> and he started laughing, <laughs> but, uh, I saw the yeah. bad Owens singer. He was, he, he streams games sometimes. And he said he was the, uh, lead singer of sleep token recently. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Cracked me up. That'd be yeah. a killer. Or bad omens and sleep token, man. Yeah, I saw bad omens. Um, I don't remember what year it was. It was the year my sister got married. She, she killed me if I told her. I don't remember what year that is. I guess, but uh, it was in Dallas, and it was kind of like sleep token. No one knew who they were at the concert. It was at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas, and like I was the only person that was like losing their shit. I was like moshing and stuff, and I I was wearing a most motionless and white shirt. And he was like, "You in the motionless and white shirt, come by our booth after the set," and I was like. Yes sir. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. yes, sir. So yeah, they're they're really cool dudes. Uh um, they're, they're blowing yeah. the fuck up right now too. So they are. They are. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's get into that real fast and we'll we'll end it on this. So besides so add sleep token to this list, of course, but what would be your like top five bands right now that you're listening to on repeat, probably? All right, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, definitely, of course, Sleep Token, Bad Omens, Lorna Shore, Ghost. I've been really into Ghost. I mean, I've always been into Ghost, but late, right, lately I've been really into fucking Ghost. Um, and this is going to crack you the hell up. I don't have another one to tell you, but I've been listening to the fuck out some Tupac. <laughs> I have oh, been, yeah. dude. Oh, uh, yeah. But if I had to pick a band, um, Spirit Box still, man. Okay, all right. That would be all it. Right. And if there was one band that people need to go listen to that you didn't name right now, who would you say they need to go listen to? If you could think of a band that someone needs to go listen to that they may not have heard of. Or they just... Bill Murray. Bill Murray? Yep. Have you not heard Bill Murray, Dawson? No. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. 
<laughs> I'll check it out. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm never it. against just trying. You're going to like it, I promise. Oh, yeah. So, for me, it's going to be uh, Sleep Token, of course, Spirit Box, Bad Omens, Eminence, and, man, who else? I'd probably have to say, hold on, let me pull up my Spotify because I'm going to forget somebody that I shouldn't forget. Um, oh, and Silent Planet. Silent Planet. So those are the five that I've been jamming a lot lately. Um, yeah. And then a band that you should go look up that you may not know about, Loathe. Loathe. I, I, dude, I've been trying to listen to more Loathe because we're going to see them in a couple months, and I'm so fucking pumped about that, dude. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's um, a band I didn't think I'd ever see, really. Because they've been to the States a couple times, but they usually just go on the outskirts, you know? Yeah. You know, down here in the the deep, scary parts of the States. Yeah. And, uh, no, that's going to be cool. I hope I hope the Hall can handle it, because it's going to be fucking wild. Dude, I'm I'm pumped for it, man. It's going to be super dope. And, uh, yeah, I've been listening to the hell out of Load lately. Like, yeah. the hell out of them. Like, I, I tried to do some under oath and can't. I'll, I'll be at the back drinking when they're playing and just enjoy yeah myself. yeah i'm not a big under oath guy but uh loath i'm down i'm down with that so um, i'm super super pumped to see them but yeah um check out silent planet if you haven't checked out silent planet but yeah loath a lot of people don't know I, I don't know how many people don't know this but loath and sleep token have like a collab song together and i think there's a lot of people that don't know that so long man yeah i told my wife and this is kind of depressing but i told my wife that um if i die before her that i want that song played at my funeral nice it's a good funeral song atlantic's a good funeral song yeah so if you're looking for funeral songs sleep tokens got some shit for you yeah they do <laughs> yeah, they, they, that's, it's all damn that's so it's so fucked <laughs> up to say but <laughs> it's like 100 percent true but anyways i don't know yeah, yeah one man. more thing dude i do hope this new album like i kind of hear it in the two new songs i hope we get more of like don't go totally back but more of one and two's um, grit, would you say? Uh, rawness, just mm -hmm. uh, I want some more of that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, and I kind of hear a little bit of it, it, it. Like I didn't hear much sundowning in the new two songs. I hear a lot of the last album mixed with the old school stuff and Tool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, I think I think we're gonna have a lot of experimental shit on this album. I could be wrong, but it seems like from the these. Like I said, choke cold. It felt new, but it also felt similar. Like it felt like a good song to put out to be like, all right, this is like it feels sleep tokeny, but it's also kind of new and fresh too at the same time. And then the summoning felt like very experimental, and so and I think that's why they chose to go with maybe that one second. Who knows? Um, or maybe that's why they chose to go in that order on the album. Uh, who knows? I don't know, but. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping they get kind of experimental with this album. Not too experimental though, like to where it's like, what the hell's going on? Like, <laughs> what are you gonna do, Dawson, if they drop a country western song? Dude, I fucking, <laughs> I don't know. It may be the best country western song in the world. Who knows? I mean, fuck. Nineties gangster rap, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want them to go like experimental to where like it like takes their whole fan base and like divides them to where people yeah. are like they don't know what the fuck is going on because there have been bands that do that like there have been bands that do that bring me the horizon is a good band to, to talk about that did that they went from super fucking heavy to like what they do now so like it's divided the fan base people are like no i like the old bring me the horizon some people are like i love bring me the horizon no matter what and then some people are like i only like the new shit so it's very dividing i hope the sleep token never does something like that but what it's that. But it's also, yeah, Bad Omens did that too. But it's also their band. And I mean, you know, they're making music for them, not technically for us. Um, we just get the pleasure of being able to enjoy it. So I think I, there's a lot of genius going on behind their that music, though, man. I think they know what they're doing. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. So, all right. Well, I think that was a pretty good first episode of uh, Sleep Talking. And I think we covered a lot of shit. So cool uh yeah so if you guys enjoyed uh this video make sure to hit subscribe make sure to uh like the video um go like i said check out justin's personal channel i'll put a link down below 
Um, if you're into that horror shit, uh, he does a lot of that over there. And uh, yeah, I think I think that's it. Justin, it's been a pleasure, my dude. Love you, kids.